Hey guys, welcome to the Kai and Rye fast food experience. Today, uh, we're doing the top level McChicken spiciness. We're doing the spiciest ghost, ghost pepper, pepper McChicken. So it's on the top level, you know, the bottom was a jalapeno, then habanero in the middle. Mm -hmm. Today is the ghost pepper McChicken. So it's the spiciest one. Ghost peppers are pretty infamous for being just insanely yeah, spicy. One of the top. Blow your face off spice. Yeah. So um, we're pretty excited to get into this one. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's still the same McChicken, so yeah. we're excited for it. When, when we were in there, I actually noticed they had all of them lined up there, mm. and it seemed like the color of the sauce actually went from it almost was a white with the jalapeno, mm -hmm. and it got oranger, and this one was the orangest. Now, when we did the jalapeno, it, it, it had a bit of it was color still a little bit of orange. Yeah, so I don't know if that's like just how they want to demonstrate it to sort of show yeah, the spiciness, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? But we'll see the color with this one. We'll check it out, see how spicy it actually is. Yeah, exactly. Right? Another little interesting fact about it, for some reason, the mm -hmm. habanero one had 470 calories, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then this one is 460. Yeah. So we're wondering, and then the jalapeno also had 460. Yeah. So we're wondering how the, the yeah. difference there is, but yeah. it's probably nothing too significant by any means. Mm -hmm. Um. Another thing is, today we don't have any uh, water from McDonald's. Yeah. because Like, normally we just grab a yeah, cup of water grab for free. Make water, um, you know? But I think because high school students come up here a lot of time at lunchtime, um, they stop yeah. giving them out for free because they're yeah. stealing pop. That's our guess. Yeah, But so they refuse to give us water cup. Oh, well. So, no McWater this time. Yeah, but, so it's going to be maybe a bit so, yeah. spicier than we were hoping. Yeah, but. so we'll actually get to test out the true spice level here. No, yeah, exactly. no aid of anything. No aid. This is going to be okay. a hard mode Yeah. Uh, chicken, McChicken. Chicken. So, you know, here's right. a box, you know, same thing where they have the little pop-out thing where it says yeah. ghost pepper. Right away with mine, I noticed there's a lot of bright, bright orange sauce right there. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, look at that. It's definitely significantly brighter than yeah. the previous McChickens we've had. Yeah. See that little bit right there. Alright. Get, yeah, get it nice. Get it out of there. So you know you got your lettuce, your sauce. Mm -hmm. It looks quite good. Yeah, it does I look really say. good. I got a big chunk of orange on this lettuce right here i'm really i'm gonna start with that just to get the spice right away all right you let's, want to get into it let's get right in okay this is the ghost pepper spiciest mcchicken See the orange? First thing first, this is a spicy sandwich. Compared, like the habanero one, the jalapeno ones, they were kind of just like a little tingle on the tongue, both of them. Like the habanero was just a teeny bit spicier than the jalapeno. Yeah. This ghost pepper one, significantly spicier. Yeah. It definitely earned the title of the spiciest 
McChicken. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely gives you a good, that good, like, full mouth yeah. burn. Full tongue, entire tongue feels like it's pretty much on fire. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Makes your mouth water, you know, makes all the saliva yeah, and everything. Yeah. It's a good, full spicy experience. Like, if you want a spicy sandwich, get the spiciest yeah. one. Don't get yeah. the jalapeno or habanero. Those are just, yeah. like, little... It, yeah, and, and at this point, I sort of realized that the, the jalapeno and the habanero are just little kicks of spice, a little bit of extra, a little bit of, a little bit of seasoning mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. top of the regular McChicken. Yeah. This is the spicy McChicken. This it, is the spiciest. Yeah. And this is this should just be called the spicy McChicken. Yeah, this is, if you want mm -hmm. spice, get this mm -hmm. sandwich. This yeah. will deliver on all fronts. It, it gives you, you know, the McChicken taste. It gives yeah. you spiced exactly how you want it. Yeah, hot. Mouth burning. Hot, and like, if you're a spice person, like I yeah. said, like, you know, five times already, get this sandwich. You'll yeah. love it. It's delicious. Um, if you like spice, if mm -hmm. you're not a spice person, this might not be the way to go for you. Yeah. Maybe get the jalapeno one or the habanero one. But if you love spice, this is the, out of all three McChickens, this is the one to get for sure. You'll mm -hmm. get the, uh, you know, it'll be delicious, super spicy. And I shouldn't say super spicy because it's not going to yeah. knock you on your butt or anything. It's not going to make you like not be able to function. Yeah, you don't want to cry after yeah, eating exactly. this burger. <laughs> that's the thing yeah yeah um it won't um like incapacitate you still be able to function just fine it's not like yeah. eating um like a pepper like a spicy pepper yeah. it's not like actually eating a ghost pepper actually no. eating i'm sure eating like a jalapeno by itself would be way spicier than this yeah but this sandwich is perfect for just you know a spicy sandwich you get it with a nice cold drink um and you'll be good to go like i mean yeah it is really spicy but I, I think if we had some water, some nice cold McWater, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can definitely, it, it would be a little bit more, like, not bearable, but it would be a little bit more enjoyable. Definitely a little bit more yeah. enjoyable. It was hard eating. I wouldn't say hard. No. Yeah. But, but just, it was a bit more of a task to eat yeah, it without you, the you water. You crave some water. Yeah, exactly. It, right? Exactly. Yeah. So if, if you're going to get this, it'd be nice to get it with a combo, right? Mm -hmm. Nice cold Coke. Yeah. Man, that'd be good. It would be, it would, so yeah. It definitely yeah. pairs itself well with a nice cool drink, maybe like a yeah. Sprite, a Coke or iced tea, whatever your uh, poison is, mm -hmm. you get that with this sandwich and you'll be good to go, man. And, um, but yeah, it is quite a spicy sandwich. Yeah. Uh, but not oh, yeah. to a terrible extent, not where it hurts. You just get a nice burn that mm -hmm. is kind of, you know, it's a good spice. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. You know, yeah. of course you still get your classic McChicken flavor. Yeah, the McChicken is not completely overruled it is yeah. compared to the other ones yeah the mcchicken is a little less prominent because yeah, the is. spice is pretty strong mm -hmm. but it's not like it's covering up the whole no. sandwich yeah. you still taste the you know the delicious mcdonald's buns and the chicken yeah. and the lettuce everything still comes through but the spice on this sandwich is the prominent thing mm -hmm. i would say for this one it's about about 70 30 spice to chicken maybe yeah. 60 40 yeah, yeah right but it, yeah you're definitely going to notice the spice uh, of course right it's definitely it, the more dominant flavor so you have to enjoy the spice mm -hmm. to really get more on this burger mm -hmm. if you're mm -hmm. gonna if you enjoy the mixed chicken more than you enjoy the spice i would say go out get a jalapeno one maybe have an arrow if you're feeling a little bit like adventurous right but if you enjoy that spice more than you really enjoy the sandwich and you're there for the spice get this sandwich yeah get this sandwich yeah. if you're a spice guy and you just want a nice spicy experience yeah you're not gonna lose the mcchicken by any means no. but the spice is the big flavor in this and right. the spice sauce itself yeah definitely has its own like peppery yeah. nice flavor yeah it has a flavor to it yeah. mm -hmm. and then the spice but that's the big yeah. you know the big pow in this sandwich yeah. is the spice so it really hits you yeah let's get right on with the affordability okay right it was right. uh six 20? 629. I, 629. I it was the same price as the habanero McChicken. Mm. Yeah, they they all came to around six dollars before taxes, mm -hmm. and that comes to six twenty nine Canadian with taxes, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. you know, like we were saying in the other, earlier videos, this is a mm -hmm. premium sandwich. It's a McChicken. It's a yeah. full size sandwich you get with a combo. Yeah. You know, that's a meal. Um, it's also the limited time offer, yeah, limited so time. you know that and, increases the price and a bit. Ghost pepper, right? I mean, ghost pepper yeah, is seen exactly. as a more premium pepper. It's, Exa definitely. it's really spicy, right? And and they actually managed to have it as, as the same price mm -hmm. as a habanero, right? So I, I would say it definitely deserves something for that. Exactly, um, and like you know, it's like we were just saying, it's limited yeah. time offer, yeah. so like you don't mind paying the, the extra, yeah. Yeah. you know, twenty right. cents for a if yeah. you're getting a limited time product that's a you mm -hmm. know a premium yeah. product. Yeah, exactly. Very tasty. You know, it's definitely worth the six twenty nine if you're a spicy yeah. flavor person. Yeah. 
So I'd say it's about a, a nine for four. Yeah, I, same I as, definitely agree. Around the same as the others. Exactly. Around a nine, yeah. 8.5 to a nine. It's a good affordability. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you want a spicy sandwich, it's perfect price for one, I'd have to say. Yeah. All right, let's get right on to the taste. Taste? Scale. Yeah, the flavor. Yeah, so for myself, I would personally give it a, I want to say 9.0. Mm. Right? It, it, I really enjoyed it. Really good sandwich. Really good. The spice... I actually expected it to be spicier, and I'm not a spice guy. I don't, I don't, I didn't want it to be spicier, mm. but it, it was a good amount of spice. You know, it's sort of fading away now. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's already kind yeah, of going it, away. It's sort of going away, and I'd say it's perfect, like perfect amount of spice for an for an adventure for someone like me who's not a big spice guy. Mm -hmm. And um, I I subtracted some points there just because I found that at times. It, it just overruled the chicken, the McChicken. That's right? totally fair. Yeah, yes. I don't know if it's too much sauce or if it's just because it's too spicy, right? But the like the focus is definitely on the spice for this particular sandwich, mm -hmm. right? So a nine is fair for myself. I'll have to say the same thing because I don't, I haven't had you know that perfect sandwich yet. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call this no. the perfect sandwich. No, a 10 not out of by 10. any means. But it is a delicious sandwich. <laughs> and if you're a spicy person, if you like that spice on your sandwich, you go get the sandwich. You know, you know, make you really happy. It's a very delicious tastes so like it's the spice is awesome it's an awesome amount of spice like i said before it doesn't like make you not be able to function it's like gives you a nice that like burn and um it's a, like a nice mm -hmm. delicious sauce on it Definitely. so you know i, I agree with the with kai here it's a 9.0 yeah. honestly i was kind of expecting it to be a bit spicier mm -hmm. another another thing about it you know as with most spicy things the more you kind of eat of it it kind of like builds and builds and builds yeah your spice tolerance exactly yeah. and um the spiciness in the sandwich you know um it's not a lot at, like maybe it's not like a lot at the first bite but like, if you keep eating it it'll kind of the spiciness will start exploding a little bit mm -hmm. and um it's not a bad thing it tastes super good I don't know. Yeah. Super good sandwich. Yeah, definitely. All right. That was the spiciest um, ghost pepper McChicken. Yeah. All right. This was the Kai and Rye fast food experience. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, tune in next time.